Tonight, Fox News media analyst and host of Fox's Media Buzz, Howard Kurtz, has a recap of the Stormy Daniels interview. This is not a Me Too. I was not a victim. I've never said I was a victim. Stormy Daniels, as expected, told CBS's Anderson Cooper that she had a one-time sexual encounter with Donald Trump a dozen years ago. But some journalists are saying today that the porn actress failed to prove her other allegations. And her lawyer, Michael Avenatti, drew criticism on the morning shows, including The View, for overhyping the 60 Minutes appearance. Avenatti had tweeted a picture of a CD implying his client might have photos or texts involving Trump, but she refused to discuss that on CBS. Daniel said that back in 2011, when she was going to tell her tale to a magazine, a man confronted her in a parking lot and told her to leave Trump alone, forget the story. And then he leaned around and looked at my daughter and said, it's a beautiful little girl, it'd be a shame if something happened to her mom. But Daniel says she can't identify the man and didn't go to the police, making the account impossible for others to verify. Daniel said she accepted a $130,000 non-disclosure deal from Trump attorney Michael Cohn because she didn't want the story to come out. And she said she later felt pressured as recently as January into releasing statements denying any affair. As a matter of fact, the exact sentence used was, they can make your life hell in many different ways. They being? I'm not exactly sure who they were. I believe it to be Michael Cohen. That speculation led Cohen to strongly deny any involvement in any pressure and his lawyer to send her a cease and desist letter. And today, a White House denial. He's denied the accusations uh, that she made last night and has been consistent in doing so. She is not. And late today in California, Stormy Daniels' attorney expanded her legal complaint to accuse presidential attorney Michael Cohen of defamation. 60 Minutes scored its biggest ratings in a decade, and the Daniels suit and litigation by other accusers might lead to legal complications for the president. But in the court of public opinion, the Stormy sit-down didn't seem to move the needle.